Hi, I'm Helen from the Writing Development Centre and I'd like to think with you a little bit about other kinds of teaching that you might experience that's a bit more interactive. But with all the lectures, videos and reading, there's going to be a lot to take in. So how do you process it and make sense of it all? Well, it's not all just sitting and listening or reading. A lot of the teaching you'll encounter is going to be more practical and interactive, working with other students. There's a variety of teaching formats depending on your subject that you might encounter. You might be in seminars or on field trips. You might be working in labs or studios or online simulations. There might be workshops and group projects, discussion boards or webinars. But the key thing for all of these is that you get to practice, experiment with new approaches, develop your ideas and test out your learning with other students. Why not just listen to an expert though? Well, these kinds of interactions give you an opportunity to practice a different kind of learning, and that's learning by doing. It's not like a lecture where all the focus is on the academic, it's all set up so that students can discuss their thinking. If you're in a seminar or webinar, you might debate what you think of all the reading that you've done beforehand, or you might talk through various solutions to a problem or a task that you've been set. It's a really good opportunity to try ideas out informally so you can get some peer feedback, defend your thinking and encounter different perspectives before you write your assignment. There will be an academic to facilitate and moderate the discussion, but seminars are often led by students depending on their interests. In some subjects, labs or clinics or studios might be a big part of your studies. The lab might look quite different depending on if you're in the natural sciences, engineering, medicine or computing, or even some arts and humanities subjects. Whether it's online or in person, you'll be working in pairs or teams, usually supervised by a demonstrator or a technician. You might be discussing how to design or set up an experiment, what the results mean. You will be practicing real life lab or clinical skills. You might be reflecting together on whether it's going well or how you might improve it. You also learn an awful lot from making mistakes and this is your chance to do that. If you work more on the creative arts side, then you might be learning in a studio or practice room. There might also be group projects, clinical case scenarios, online simulations, field trips or work placements. But to get the most out of these practical learning opportunities, it's important to get involved and participate. This might be daunting at first, but participation can take lots of different forms. So you might be introducing a topic, posing questions or offering suggestions, or you might be helping other students refine and develop their ideas, offering additional insights they've not thought of or weighing up different arguments. Some people are comfortable speaking up right from the start. Others find it's easier to just listen at first and weigh up what they're hearing until they get the confidence to chip in themselves. Academics and other students do want to hear what you think and they will encourage a respectful environment to share your ideas and explore different viewpoints. There's usually more than one possible right answer, several valid approaches, or more than one way that things might not go as you'd planned. So these more interactive teaching formats are a chance to explore ideas and approaches that might not have occurred to you, solve problems and experiment together, practice skills and reflect on how it worked. Coming across different perspectives really helps creative thinking and new insights when the discussion's open-minded, respectful and thoughtful. So learning to discuss, negotiate and bring together different perspective ideas and different ways of thinking is a great way of gaining a richer understanding as well as developing interpersonal skills which will be important to you throughout your life 